Oh, do time for another beer review. It's Friday challenge time. We've made it to the end of another week, so well done, everybody. Um, I just wanted to say before I get into the challenge that I have got absolute bucket loads of requests and I will get to them. I've kind of promised myself to lots of people that I was going to do it this week, their challenge, but I'm, some of them I thought were going to be easy to source than others. Um, Dragon Stout's very popular. I haven't forgotten. and I know it's been requested a long time ago. I will get to it, but I just can't find it up here. I've had a few Polish lagers suggested. I will get to those, but um, it's been an absolutely frantic week, so I've gone for an easy one this week, but one which was requested fairly recently by the man, the legend, that is Dennis Newlands, who drinks in the Lint. Absolute top bloke. And um, Dennis asked me to do Sharp's Doom Bar. Uh, this is a beer that Dennis loves. Uh, it's coming in a 500ml bottle and it's 4.3%. Dennis even said to me, that this is the best beer in the world. The world. The whole wide world. Um, but I'll take that with a pinch of salt. Dennis does like a pint of John Smith's. So I'm not having a go at John Smith's. But that's his go-to drink. So maybe this is slightly better than John Smith's. Who knows? It's been a long time since I had it. It was... I had a check on Untapped and it, it was over five years ago since I've, I've last drank this. So um, it's probably due a revisit. So yeah, it's from Sharps uh, who are in Cornwall. Um, it says on the bottle that the aroma is spicy resinous hop, uh, sweet roasted malt and it tastes balanced, succulent, dried fruit, lightly roasted malt. So... Um, get this out i picked this up in my local corner shop um like i say it was an easy one to source um oh it smells a bit skunky um there's the crown clear glass alarm bells dark bottles are the way forwards clear glass getting all that sunlight bouncing off it but there we go so I would say that's an amber colour. Uh, it's got very good levels of clarity. I can see my beautiful face in the reflection on the camera. S low, slight bubbles going up to a slightly off-white head. Looks very foamy, tight, compact bubbles in it. Get the nose properly. Yeah, sweet malt. Very sweet malt. There's like a metally tinge to it, but it's really just it's very, very sweet malt. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Dennis. It's very sweet. Um, almost to, if you see my Friday challenge where I did man's brown, it's it's getting towards that level of being sweet. I'm getting, I'm not getting this, it says it's spicy, it's maybe slightly spicy on the nose, it doesn't come out on the flavour. I'm getting a slight hint of raisin, and like a, a toffee flavour as if it's been added to it. The flavours are very light. It's a very safe drink. It's not a disgusting drink. It's certainly not as bad as I feared it was going to be. Um, but it's just not very exciting. Could you session on it? Yeah. Would I want a session on it? No. Um, actually, it's a bit more carbonated than I thought it was going to be. I'm just feeling it whooshing around inside me. Um, Dennis said this is the best beer in the world. I'm going to disagree. I'm going to have to disagree with you then. I know, um, but we disagree on lots of things. He thinks Arsenal are the greatest football team in the world. And in, in his words, he would say Carlisle's a lot of pish. But um, no, so 
I'm going to disagree with them, but he does like, he likes it, like I said, he likes the John Smiths. This is better than John Smiths. Um, so I'll, I'll let him have that one. So if that's his go-to beer, it's be- this is better than his regular go-to beer. Um, could I drink it often? I could drink it again, but I wouldn't be in a rush to buy it. Like I say, it was five years since I've last tried it. So um, it will probably be the same again. But if I was in a pub and options were limited, um, I wouldn't be concerned if I had to drink it. There's a lot better um, traditional ales out there um, in the supermarkets and probably produced in your local area. So I would probably go for something like that over this. But yeah, a very safe, inoffensive beer. So that is Sharps, Doom Bar, Amber Ale. So I'll add that to my Friday Challenge playlist. Like I said, there is lots and lots of requests, but keep them coming. I'll just keep adding them to the list and we'll try and get them all done eventually. So thanks for watching and on to the next one. Cheers.